So chances are, if you're watching this video, you actually want to create LUTs, but you just have no clue how to actually do that. Well, I'm going to show you, and it's actually not hard at all. Inside of Premiere Pro, it's very, very easy to do, and it's actually pretty fun, not going to lie. So before we get into today's tutorial, I want you guys to know that my name is Chris Wustead, and I run the Takeover Shop, where I sell editing assets and packs for content creators just like you. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead, check the description down below. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started in today's tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys two ways of sort of like creating LUTs. And the first method is you do doing everything manually. And then the second way is using Premiere Pro's like sort of comparison view tool to like help you with the color grade. But let's go ahead and get started from scratch. So this is an actual iPhone clip, just like so, super, super basic. But let's go ahead and like create this LUT. First things first, you can go ahead, cool it off if you want, like a very cool look. You can warm it up a little bit. For me, honestly, don't play with temperature when I'm creating LUTs, simply because I want people to be able to affect the temperature the way that they want to when they get the LUT. So we're gonna go ahead and skip that. We're gonna go to maybe increase the exposure a little bit, throw in a little bit of contrast, maybe turn the highlights down, just get a little bit of that filmic look, maybe turn the whites down as well, and then uh, leave the blacks as is. Um, we can go to, like we can sharpen it up a bit, turn up the vibrance and then keep going. And then in the curves is where I really like to play with the LUT and like actually make it like cool. Um, so let's go ahead and just like fade the blacks a little bit. So it kind of gets like that filmic look. If you go a little bit higher, you can see, but let's just make a super subtle like fade and maybe in the highlights, it's crushed the highlights a little bit. Cause I feel like when the highlights aren't as white, it just looks a lot more filmic. So we'll do something like that and maybe do like a little bit of an S curve just like so. So we'll see before after kind of just like dims it down a little bit i like it looks like unique looks cool yo real quick before we continue with the tutorial i want you guys to know that the ultimate solo creator bundle is out now and hands down this is the best product that i've made i've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack so that way i don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks and through this kit i was actually able to optimize my workflow so now i don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process and like i genuinely mean that i use these presets each and every single day and they're actually pretty gas so if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online go ahead check it out down below in the description and let's get right back to the video let's go to hue saturation curves and this is like the fun part this is really where the majority of your LUT's going to be built because this is like kind of where you can play with colors etc um so let's say we want to make like the blues look a lot more like teal go ahead and try that out so i'm going to go to hue versus hue let's go ahead and select just the blues by creating two points and then let's kind of push it towards like that teal look now if we go too far we can see that we're effect we're making it green and like you don't want that obviously so just dial it in to where it's like looking just just right i think that's just right let's go ahead and just see if we can affect these blues a little bit more and make it more teal let's maybe even drag this over a little bit more catch a little bit more maybe turn this down killer that looks very teal so this is after and then this is before after before so i'm actually really liking that you could even play with like the reds you can make like the reds a little bit more orangey if you want like that orange and teal look so let's go ahead and just dip it down like that i think that looks good a little before a little after you can see like the reds right here a little bit more orange so i actually really do like that let's just uh keep going we can go to hue versus luma so if like you want like the uh if you want like the blues go ahead and just like all the blues Let's say we wanted to like make them brighter. We could just go up here, turn the Luma up. That's gonna sort of just make it like more, like make it pop out more. But keep in mind when you do create these LUTs that if you go too crazy, run the chance of screwing up the color and making it not look good. So subtle adjustments are honestly key. So let's go ahead and just say we wanna bring it up just a tad, like just the hair, just like so. I don't think that actually looks pretty good. And then Luma versus saturation. So saturation versus saturation, have no clue what those do. Um, just play around with them if you guys want to. I personally don't. And then hue versus saturation. So let's say you want like everything but blue to be desaturated. I just say you just want to carve it out. So you create two points on the colors you want to affect. I want to select this range. So let's go ahead and just go in here. You can turn this all down if you wanted. So just straight up blue. As you can see, I'm not going to personally do that for this LUT. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then let's move on. So color wheels, this is where you can like really introduce colors into the shadows. You can introduce like all of this stuff. Um, this isn't really a color grading tutorial too, too much. So I'm going to skip this for now, but we will be back to this later. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much what you guys want to do when you're creating these LUTs. Just like play with color wheels, curves, creative, 
like basic correction, etc. And just be very creative, be unique. Don't try to copy other people's stuff. Like obviously use inspiration. I kind of use this frame from Tiny Tapes uh, recent music video. Now that you have the look that you actually like, how do you create a LUT out of it? So you go up here to this hamburger menu, you click it, and then you want to go to either export look or cube. And for me, I honestly just do export.cubes, just what I like to do. And then it'll bring this up. And then you can name this just like, I'm just gonna name this like teal LUT. And then I'm gonna save it. And that's gonna save my downloads. Damn. Okay, sweet. So we have our uncolor graded video. Let's go ahead and import our LUT. And the way that you actually import this LUT, you go to look, custom, you go to downloads, and then you're gonna see your LUT right here. And then you just go ahead and hit open. And then you'll see that the LUT has been applied. The thing that's really cool about the creative tab is you can actually change the intensity of the LUT. So you make it go crazy, or you could just make it like super, super subtle, or you could just do how it's supposed to look. So once you actually go ahead and complete the LUTs, you essentially just go through, make all of your LUTs, throw them in a folder, and then you're able to sell them and do whatever you want with them. If this tutorial was helpful, please let me know down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, take action, take over, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.